There are many things one can do with, to increase the general level of accuracy that will also decrease the effect of any bias in the system. The first thing is camera positioning. In the use case, we, we call the first one constraint. In a constrained mode, the software compares the fields presented at a point of access to a database of authorized person to determine whether there is a match. If there is a match, access is granted, and if there is no match, access is denied, and a security alert can be triggered. Typically, people and vehicles will be guided through what we call a choke point, such as the narrow corridor or a turnstile that helps putting the person in front of the camera in, in a relatively known and optimized location. In an in the wild or unconstrained mode, the software compels faces in preset watch lists to faces in the video surveillance footage. In real conditions, such as pose variation, low resolution, facial expression, different hairstyles, illumination changes, blurriness, and occlusion between people. Typically, people and vehicles will appear in different angles, pose, and quality levels, and this is much harder. These are very different use cases for facial recognition, and today we are focused on the unconstrained type of FR, that is usually seen in surveillance video. This is what Griffin does.